it's monsoon time in western India. The usually dry sal forests of Gir are drenched and lush after an unusually heavy round of rainfall. Amba is worried. As leader of one of the biggest prides in the area, she has the responsibility of nearly 20 lions. Especially vulnerable are the small babies, born barely a month ago. For the moment, they are well hidden and being looked after by the two young mothers. There are other youngsters in the group who also need looking after. If the rain doesn't let up soon, they will be in trouble. The heavy rains have caused havoc in most parts of the park. With overflowing rivers and muddy streams gushing from all corners, most animals are struggling. Hunting is impossible, which means the pride will have to go hungry. This will be especially tough on the new mothers who need to constantly feed their cubs. Finally, after almost three days, the rain lets up. Amba cautiously emerges from behind the thicket of shrubs where she has been sheltering. The youngsters are impatient, but all have to wait till Amba gives the signal. Coast clear. The younger lions are the first to rush out in joy after being confined for such a long time. The adults follow more leisurely. Last to emerge are the mothers with their newborn cubs. The past year or so has been tough for Amba. Winds of change are blowing through the Gir National Park. First, there was the scare caused by the dreaded disease, the canine distemper virus, which completely wiped out all the prides living on the eastern fringes of the park. Thankfully, Amba and her family were left untouched since they live on the western side of the park. But in the aftermath, a lot of lions were radio tagged for better monitoring. Amba's younger sister, Rani, has been fitted with one. 
This will allow the park rangers to keep a closer eye on the pride and hopefully keep them safe from disease. But Amba has no time to worry about what may or may not happen in the future. She has more pressing concerns. She and her pride live under the protection of the two dominant males of the area, Giri and Ganesh. The social structure of the Asian lions is significantly different from their African cousins. Two or three males form a coalition to control an area. They may have two or three groups of females under their protection in the area they dominate. but they do not live with the pride. They will visit them only for mating. In return for siring their cubs, the lionesses will be provided protection from other marauding males. So the prides are left pretty much to fend for themselves most of the times. But lately, it has become more and more difficult for the males to hold on to their areas for long. A few years back, there was enough space for a couple of hundred lions that existed on these forests. Over the years, thanks to the conservation efforts, their number has more than doubled. But of course, the area of the Gir forests has remained the same. As the number of lions increases, each male wants to establish his rule over scarce land and the females on it. Bloody fights have become more frequent. Amba isn't too bothered about who rules over her patch, but if a new group of males takes over her home, they will definitely kill her cubs. She has to guard against that. The newly born cubs are of course most vulnerable but her pride also has sub-adults between the age groups of 1 to 3 years. While the females among this group will be safe, the male cubs will be viewed as potential rivals so any new dominant males who take over the area will kill them. Male cubs usually stay with the mother's pride till they are old enough to strike out on their own. Once they cross three years or so, they will be kicked out of the pride and will have to try and carve out their own territory. Life is tough for the young males. All the prime locations are already taken. No male will tolerate them in their territory. They will have to fight the existing rulers of an area and defeat them in order to have their own patch. It's either kill or be killed. As a result, many of them end up having no home. They are the nomads of Gir, roaming around the fringes. Without any home, they will not be able to woo any females. They may have short secret dalliances with females from another male's territory, but nothing more permanent. For the moment, these sub-adults from Amba's pride 
have a protection. The park and its occupants are slowly limping back to normalcy after the monsoon. Amba and her pride are also enjoying the sunshine and the chance to stretch their legs. While the youngsters are busy in their play and games, Amba is a bit restless. She has not seen Giri or Ganesh for a few weeks now. They are her safety net. Without their protection, her group is vulnerable. A peacock sounds off an alarm somewhere in the vicinity. Amba's alert ears pick up the sound. It could be a leopard or a pack of foxes or a rival lion. Amba cannot afford to take any chances. The entire group is herded out of the open ground into the safety of the thicket. As days pass, the landscape is changing. The lush green hues are giving way and the park is taking on a golden color. Winter is a season of plenty and the park inmates are making the most of it before the harsh summer months arrive. <laughs> Amba is not letting the balmy weather lull her into a sense of complacency. She knows they are still not out of the woods yet. She has sensed that Kiri and Ganesh's hold over her home patch is diminishing. They have hardly visited her pride over the past few months. Sensing an opportunity Two male lions from the adjacent area have already made a few exploratory trips into Amba's area. Instead of waiting for the inevitable, Amba decides to make a move and take the fight to the enemy's camp. Her next move is, however, quite unexpected. She offers an alliance between the two groups. This is a master stroke from the wily queen. Allowing their leader Raju to mate with her, she has placated the duo she may allow her sisters also to mate with the other male. This will buy the group the much needed time. Time for her cubs to grow up and move out of the pride and to carve their own destinies. The sub-adult cubs in her pride are almost old enough to strike out on their own. and the youngest cubs are also almost a year old. For now, she has neutralized the threat from Raju and his brother. Amba can breathe a little easy. She has successfully reared another generation of lions.